This video is sponsored by the DigitSpace. DigitSpace is an open source hardware provider. They supply innovative, user-friendly open source hardware products at extremely low prices. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an advanced level countdown timer based on the Arduino 16x2 I2C LCD, 4x3 matrix keypad and a one-channel relay module. With the help of this countdown timer, you can control different types of electrical loads like for example light bulbs, heaters, water pumps, washing machines, fans, etc. In fact, this countdown timer can be used anywhere where you need to control anything on the time basis. As you can see for the demonstration purposes, I have connected a 220 volt AC light bulb which of course can be replaced with different types of other electrical loads. This countdown timer is very user friendly. Let's say I want to turn on this bulb for 10 seconds. Enter minutes is 0 and press the asterisk key on the keypad. Now enter seconds and again press the asterisk key on the keypad. As you can see the light bulb has been turned on. Now this bulb will remain on for 10 seconds. As you can see the light just turned off. Now let's say I want to turn on this bulb for 1 minute and 25 seconds. Simply enter the minutes and seconds and that's it. If at any time you want to change the time, you can simply press the H key on the keypad and you can start again by entering the minutes and seconds. If you are a beginner and you have never used the I2C 16 x 2 LCD and 4x3 keypad, then I highly recommend first to watch my previous two tutorials and then you can resume from here. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number 2. Proteus Simulation Number 3. Arduino Programming And finally number 4. Testing Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DigitSpace and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is a 4x3 keypad. 4x3 means that this keypad has 4 rows and 3 columns. You can also use a 4x4 keypad. Leave the 4th column C4 unconnected. As you can see this keypad has no male or female headers and no wires are soldered due to which this keypad cannot be interfaced with the Arduino board. First, let's solder some female headers.
as you can see female headers are soldered and now it can be easily interfaced with the Arduino board this is just a normal 16 into 2 LCD which is converted into an I2C supported type LCD by using the PCF8574 I2C driver module the four male headers are clearly labeled as ground VCC SDA and SCL a 10k variable resistor which is used for the adjustment of the LCD contrast as you can see the driver module is also provided with a zero a1 and A2 links which can be used to set the I2C addresses. As you can see no links are fitted. The 7-bit address is 0x27 which you have to confirm in the data sheet. Maybe your LCD have a different I2C address. The links control the least significant 3 bits. As you can see the circuit diagram is really simple. All the 16 pins of the PCF8574 driver module are connected with the LCD pins. Using these connections you can convert any 16 into 2 LCD into an I2C supported LCD. The VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The SDA pin is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A4. The SCL pin is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A5 while the ground pin is connected with the Arduino's ground using only two pins A4 and A5 we can control the 16 into 2 LCD a 4x3 keypad is interfaced with the Arduino using the digital pins 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 a one channel relay module is connected with the digital pin 13 of the Arduino the relay used is of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. You can purchase a ready-made relay module or you can follow the same exact connections and build a one by yourself. Before the actual wiring, I designed a simulation for the countdown timer in Proteus, which really helped me in completing my programming without physically connecting the Arduino and other electronic components. Proteus is a really powerful simulation software. If you don't have the components, you can install a free version of the Proteus simulation software and make the simulation by yourself or you can download this simulation from my website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from my website. You can find a link in the description maximum of the code used in this project I have already explained in my previous tutorial which was based on the password door lock security system using Arduino and keypad the new things that I added in this project are the 16 into 2 I2C LCD and the millis function for counting the seconds so this countdown timer is actually based on the millis function I'm not using any RTC real-time clock like the DS3231. In this project, the millis function works just fine. The circuit diagram, Proteus simulation file, Arduino programming, and libraries can be downloaded from my website electronicclinic.com. After I was done with the programming, I tested my code using the Proteus simulation. Finally, I interfaced all the components as per the circuit diagram and powered up the Arduino board one channel relay module and 220 volt AC light bulb. Never touch the relay module as 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. Wear protective gloves. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode.
and thanks for watching.